September we met. I can tell by your smile. You hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while. Hey everybody. So I wanted to make this video uh, regarding Funky Dineva and Michelle Atlian Brown. Um, as some of you know, if you've watched my videos, I'm a fan of Funky Dineva. Uh, I got into Funky Dineva's ass recently because of some of the shit that he said about Blue Ivy, which I did not think was cool because kids should always be off limits. And he was on one that night, but I think that he apologized sincerely and you know, it is what it is. Um, I think that he learned this lesson. I do like his style. I like how he kind of, I like his comedy. I ain't going to sit here and lie. I like Funky Dineva. Anyway, I was actually introduced to Funky Dineva years ago by watching another YouTuber by the no name of Michelle Brown. Now, Michelle Brown has been on the scene for a really long time. And I used to watch her and Funky Dineva do like um they would do reviews of the real housewives of atlanta and they would get into charades as a lot of times and i just like i just like their chemistry i thought that they were kind of funny together and i would just watch them but anyway um no shade to michelle but funky dineva basically surpassed michelle as far as views and as far as subscribers and um i just started watching him more i just kind of like i said i just like his his vibe i like his style um, of course they were friends. And so you may have saw this and heard it and read about it. Them being friends, uh, you know, Michelle basically, uh, opened up her condo to Funky Dineva and allowed him to live there. All right. And Funky Dineva pretty much fucked her shit up. I mean, he pretty much messed up her condo. And I remember distinctly watching the video when she was walking through her condo with uh basically dog shit everywhere and he had pretty he pretty much fucked it up that that's all i can say he really did do his friend wrong so naturally uh the friendship was over um i think he went back and forth with her for a bit trying to explain his side of it put some stuff out there about her and her hygiene back and forth back and forth nonetheless michelle eventually sued funky dineva and i believe she is still getting paid uh her restitution um, you know, uh, through garnishments or something like that. So needless to say, they ain't friends. They've been friends for many, many, many years. So, um, funky, uh, sorry, Michelle recently did a video, like a lot of us did about funky Dineva, uh, going after blue Ivy. Like I said, we, it was all every, a lot of folks did that. Right. And rightly so he deserved to be dragged for that. But then I'm not sure. And maybe you can correct me. Maybe my ears deceived me, but I could have sworn I heard Michelle insinuate that Funky Dineva has HIV because of his previous dealings with Justin J, who recently came out and uh, told everybody that he was positive. Now, like I said, my ears could have been deceiving me. I listened to it. I rewind it. I listened to it again. I'm like, okay, is she really doing that? Is she really going there? Because you know what? Say what you will about Michelle, but Michelle messy as hell. If you don't know that Michelle's messy, just go back and look at that whole Maddie and Kaya situation and how she inserted her ass into all of that and how that went down. All right. You can tell it was messy because first of all, she went with the whole Maddie thing. Her and Maddie was going back and forth. And then she hooked up with Kaya and that lasted a very short while before Kaya was reading her ass all over the internet. So like I said, Michelle has a way of being messy. Michelle knows what works on YouTube. Michelle knows what gets views. So the messy she, the messier she is bringing certain people's names into the mix the more views, the more clicks she'll get. Okay. Michelle just pretty much don't care. She knows how this works. She's been around for a long time. Like I said, she knows how this shit works. Okay. I ain't really mad at her about that. However, I'm wondering if you guys feel like based on what I think I heard from her, that she may have just crossed the line a bit. Like, look, y'all not friends no more. 
I get it. I can understand why you don't fuck with him anymore, especially what he did to your place. But I feel like if I'm not your friend no more, we ain't cool. We ain't friends. I still, no matter what it is that you are dealing with or going through, I'm not going to spill your tea out there. I'm just not. It goes both ways. Whether he's spilling her tea, she's spilling his tea. I would just never cross the line with somebody. If we ain't cool no more, we just ain't fucking with each other. And that's fine. But if you got some bones, I'm going to keep those bones. I'm not throwing those bones out there for everybody. And I just thought that was kind of just not cool for her to insinuate that he has HIV because he dealt with Justin J in the past. First of all, uh, putting Justin J in the mix of your conversation, that was kind of foul anyway. And then to imply that Funky Dineva has HIV because of Justin J. Well, so what if he do? It's not your business to tell. I wouldn't even say no shit like that. That's crazy. And then, you know, all the drug stuff that you stopped talking, you would start talking about his drug use and stuff like that. Well, it ain't never really been no secret. Funky Dineva has pretty much spilled his own tea about his previous drug use. Now, is he still on some shit right now? He might be shit. I don't know. But again, this just goes to show you how friendships are set up these days. It's like the minute y'all fall out, the minute folks fall out, they start spilling all the shit. Look with the whole Cardi B thing with the with the women. You know how Cardi B's tea came out about her husband? Two girls was mad at each other and they started spilling each other's shit. Or one of them spilled the other's tea and then it blew up and now this is where we at. So that's how friends are. You know, if that's how what a friend is, I don't want no friends. And so um, I just didn't think it was cool for Michelle to go there. Like I said, you know, that, that to me, in my opinion, I just felt like that just kind of crossed the line a little bit because to imply that somebody has, um, HIV to imply that somebody does drugs, that's just not cool. Like I said, if you ain't fucking with them, you just ain't fucking with them. And, and that happens. That's the way life is. You be, you ain't friends no more. It's what it is. But I just felt like that was just like a real, like to me, it crossed the line as far as the charge. Okay. That just crossed the line. And Michelle knows that how she, Michelle knows how this shit works. She knows how to create a buzz and how to get a coin and how to get a view. And I felt like that's what she was doing. I just did. I mean, y'all can disagree. That's fine with me. It don't matter. But Michelle ain't fooling nobody because I've seen it before with T.S. Madison and Kaya and how she inserted herself into certain conversations and it just blew up and it took on a life of its own because she became a part of the story. All right. And so now, of course, she may come back if, if Funky Dineva says anything, which I doubt he will. She'll just come back and do another video. And another video about Funky Dineva. And then she'll make another coin. Like I said, the, the woman is smart. She ain't fooling me. She's smart with what she do. But like I said, I felt like she crossed the line. And I'm just wondering if you guys saw the same thing that I saw. That she insinuated that he has HIV. So um, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Because like I said, maybe my ears are deceiving me.